Book of Genesis chapter 25 Abraham's death and his descendants Abraham took another wife whose name was Keturah. She bore him Zimran, Jokshan, Medan, Midian, Ishbak, and Shua. Jokshan fathered Sheba and Dedan. The sons of Dedan were Asherim, Letushim, and Lumim. The sons of Midian were Epha, Epher, Hanak, Abida, and Elba. All these were the children of Keturah. Abraham gave all he had to Isaac, but to the sons of his concubines Abraham gave gifts. And while he was still living, he sent them away from his son Isaac eastward to the east country. These are the days of the years of Abraham's life, 175 years. Abraham breathed his last and died in a good old age, an old man and full of years, and was gathered to his people. Isaac and Ishmael, his sons, buried him in the cave of Machpelah, in the field of Ephron, the son of Zoar, the Hittite, east of Mamre, the field that Abraham purchased from the Hittites. There Abraham was buried with Sarah, his wife. After the death of Abraham, God blessed Isaac, his son, and Isaac settled at Beer Lahai Roy. These are the generations of Ishmael, Abraham's son, whom Hagar, the Egyptian, Sarah's servant, bore to Abraham. These are the names of the sons of Ishmael, named in the order of their birth. Nebaioth, the firstborn of Ishmael, and Kedar, Adbil, Mibsam, Mishma, Duma, Masa, Hadad, Tema, Jeter, Nefish, and Kedema. These are the sons of Ishmael, and these are, the na are their names by their villages and by their encampments, twelve princes according to their tribes. These are the years of the life of Ishmael, 137 years. He breathed his last and died, and was gathered to his people. They settled from Havilah to Shur, which is opposite Egypt in the direction of Assyria. He, set he settled over against all of his kinsmen. The birth of Esau and Jacob. These are the generations of Isaac, Abraham's son. Abraham fathered Isaac, and Isaac was 40 years old when he took Rebekah, the daughter of Bethuel, the Aramean, of Padan Aram, the sister of Laban, the Aramean, to be his wife. And Isaac prayed to the Lord for his wife, because she was barren. And the Lord granted his prayer, and Rebekah, his wife, conceived. The children struggled together within her, and she said, If it is thus, why is this happening to me? So she went to inquire of the Lord, and the Lord said to her, Two nations are in your womb, and two peoples from within you shall be divided. The one shall be stronger than the other, the older shall serve the younger. When her days to give birth were completed, behold, there were twins in her womb. The first came out red, all his body like a hairy cloak, so they called him Esau. Afterward, his brother came out with his hand holding Esau's heel, so his name was called Jacob. Isaac was sixty years old when she bore them. When the boys grew up, Esau was a skillful hunter, a man of the field, while Jacob was a quiet man, dwelling in tents. Isaac loved Esau because he ate of his game, but Rebekah loved Jacob. Esau sells his birthright. Once when Jacob was cooking stew, Esau came in from the field and he was exhausted. And Esau said to Jacob, Let me eat some of that red stew, for I am exhausted. Therefore his name was called Adam. Jacob said, Sell me your birthright now. Esau said, I am about to die. Of what use is a birthright to me? Jacob said, Swear to me now. So he swore to him and sold his birthright to Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and lentil stew, and he ate and drank and rose and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. So this just goes into the story of Abraham's death, Abraham's descendants, Ishmael's descendants, and then the birth of Esau and Jacob, right? So I got a few notes here on verse 11. After the death of Abraham, God blessed Isaac, his son, and Isaac settled at Beer Lahai Roy. So, again, I mentioned this in yesterday's reading. Uh, Beer Lahai Roy is the place that Hagar ran to after she and Abraham made Ishmael, right? And there was the first time that 
Well, I believe it's the first time in the Bible that Jesus appeared to someone, and it was to Hagar. So Isaac settling at Beer Lahai Roy, which was where he was yesterday when he first met Rebecca, is a very interesting detail because, you know, it's a reoccurring place now. It's a place that Isaac is very familiar with, and it's the place where Hagar was told that she was pregnant with Ishmael, who is the son of Abraham in the same way that Isaac is the son of Abraham. Verse 16. These are the sons of Ishmael, and these are their names. By their villages and by their encampments, twelve princes according to their tribes. So this brings us back to chapter 17, verse 20. And I'm just going to find it here real quick. That's verse 14. As for Ishmael, I have heard you. Behold, I have blessed him and will make him fruitful and multiply him greatly. He shall father twelve princes and I will make him into a great nation. So, you know, just God fulfilling his promise there. Uh, Ishmael has twelve sons. They become twelve princes. Yeah. Verse 18. They settled from Havilah to Shur, which is opposite Egypt in the direction of Assyria. He settled against all his kinsmen. So this is about the, uh, wait, that, I can't tell if it's about the death of Ishmael or if it's about his descendants, but it does say at the end he settled over against all his kinsmen, which in chapter 16, verse 12 He shall be a wall, don't give of a man his hand against everyone and everyone's hand against him. And he shall dwell over against all his kinsmen. So that was in what Jesus said to Hagar, right? And, you know, that's just, again, another fulfilling of the promise of God. Uh, Ishmael, when he died, was settled against all his kinsmen. Verse 23, And the Lord said to her, Two nations are in your womb, and two peoples from within you shall be divided. The one shall be stronger than the other, the older shall serve the younger. So this just sets us up for the story of Jacob versus Esau. Uh, very interesting that it says the older shall serve the younger, because Esau is the older, Jacob is the younger. So yeah, that just sets up, like, that's just God saying, all right, that, that's what's going to happen here, right? And verse 31, Jacob said, sell me your birthright now. So Esau does this in the next verse. Esau said, I'm about to die. Of what use is a birthright to me? Jacob said, swear to me now. So he swore to him and sold his birthright to Jacob. So that's verses 31 to 33 and it doesn't tell us in this chapter what the birthright of Esau is but in chapter 27 it we get into more detail about it so all you need to know right now is that Esau does sell his birthright to Jacob all right and yeah that's everything I have to say today thank you for watching keep running when no one else is and have a blessed day.